everybody, welcome, welcome! My name is Kurt, aka the Vitruvian Gamer, and today I thought uh, let's do an unboxing about, of, well, of the new expansion of Eldritch Horror, Science of Carcosa. Alright, so you might remember I'm a big, big fan of Eldritch Horror. I have all previous uh, expansions. This is again a smaller expansion, a, what they call a small box expansion. And uh, well, let's see what's in it. So let's first turn around the box and let's see what's all happening in this expansion. All right, so as you can see, madness spreads across the globe. The tides of madness rise across the world. Poets and artists are driven mad by the light of the moon and the mysterious place spreads insanity to its audiences. The unspeakable one is stirring and its cursed city tears through the dimensional walls. Los Carcosa has come to Earth. Mua! Alright. So, as you can see, a whole stuff, whole bunch of new stuff in the game. It features Hastur, the new ancient one, and new encounters, new uh, investigators, uh, all kinds of new stuff. So, let's open this box and let's see what's inside of this. Alright. So, First of all, we have the mini catalog of Fantasy Flight games with all their pretty awesome games. We have some more rules. And uh, so you can see this is the new icon, so you can always see which cards are in which expansion. And let's see if it has some new rules. So it's always this kind of booklet that comes with a card. Uh, it has the impairment tokens, which already came in the previous expansion. But if you haven't didn't get that expansion, it's still explained as is the as are the unique assets. And uh, well, it looks like nothing really new. Uh, I think physical uh, resistance already came in the previous one as well. Uh, yeah. So I think I think it's nothing too new about for rules and stuff like that, which I did don't mind too much. Uh, after all the things that came with it, with new boards and all the stuff, it's good to have some normal expansion and some normal things. All right, we have the new ancient one. All right, so I'm not going to spoil too much. Maybe so. This is Hastur, the unspeakable one. And uh, well, he looks menacing as you can see, um, and he has all his special abilities. Maybe I can tell you that, of course. So as you can see, he needs two mysteries to be sold to defeat. If uh, well, he awakes. I'm not going to tell you what happens when he awakens. I'm not even going to read for myself. Maybe this uh, I want to experience this myself, and <laughs> maybe you want as well. And as you can see. This one with the reckoning investigators lose sanity as a group equal to the number of gates on the board. So many, many gates, bad news. All right. So uh, cultists summon biakis. Biakis are well not that fun to deal with. But anyway, this is a new ancient one. Awesome. Always nice. We have new new. Investigators. We have Dexter Drake, the magician. He can move one monster from your sp from his space to an other space containing a gate, which can be really useful in my opinion. And once per round, when he gains a spell, he can get an additional spell. Wow, awesome! He's very good in lore, so the magician will use his spells to uh, well to do whatever he wants. Very cool. I, I like that one. We have. Jenny Barnes, the dilettant of dilettanti, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. She can. You or another investigator on a city space may perform an acquire asset action and gain plus two to that action, which is pretty cool. She has four influence for herself, so that's four plus two, that's six if she acquires some stuff. That's pretty neat. And once per round, when she or another investigator gains a depth condition, then that investigator may discard that condition. Wow, awesome, awesome stuff. Very good thing. Michael McGlenn, the gangsta. Not the rapper gangsta, but the old school gangsta with the Tommy gun. 
If he is on the city space, you can get, may get one item or servant assets of your choice from the reserve, but then you become wanted. But still, pretty cool. That can be a lifesaver if you need an item that's there. And once per round, you may reroll one die when resolve a deal or a pursuit condition effect. Alright, pretty cool. Uh, good fighting skill, good willpower, so that's pretty cool. And then we have Wendy, Wendy Adams, the urchin, and she can get one trinket of her choice from the reserve or the discard pile, which is pretty cool. Each round she can do that as an action, and once per round, if she would get a non-deal condition or an impairment token, she can choose not to gain that condition or token instead. That's uh, also pretty, pretty neat. All right, I believe, well, those are pretty cool characters in my opinion. Of course, we have a punch board or two. Let me get the plastic off. I'll be back in a sec. And ta-da! All right. Yes, sometimes a plastic can be difficult. So we have, of course, the investigators, the four investigators. We have the impairment tokens. And if you haven't seen it in previous expansion, these are things that you can get and it gives your skills minus points, which can be a real pain. It has the proof of purchase, which I, well, I think the, para the um, I may forgot his name, Shazmar talked about this in a very, very long ago episode of his show about this one. We don't know what that does. We have New Celtis, we have a Deep One Hybrid, a Crazy Mob, a Firebug, a Hunting Big Yaki, a Rogue Yaki, and a Spawn of Hastur, and some more Impairment Tokens. Alright, so let's go to the cards. We have no standees, of course, for the Investigators. And let's see what else is new here. As you can see, there are new stuff here, new artifacts that might come into the game. We have new stuff that we can buy, new assets, with a flamethrower. We have binding spells. That's something new, I think. So when you are another investigator on any space, resolves a combat encounter, you may test lore if you pass, reduce that monster's damage to one. Oh, that's a lifesaver as well. We have mind's eye, and you can reroll one die when doing a influence or a will test. Nice. Summon Biaki. Oh, you can summon Biakis now. So test lore if you pass, move to a space of your choice within two spaces. So you can look at this. You will be able to ride a Biaki. By the way, I'm not sure if I pronounced that word right, but for me it's a Biaki. Okay, that's special. You have unique assets, special assets that you can get. Granny Orn, Hildred Castain, Endless Tamasas and stuff like that. Those are always pretty cool stuff. I like all these new things, new more things that you can, well, encounter. Uh, we have a blight condition. When you gain this card, you have to discard an ally. Wow, all right. Promise of power, also new. Look at this, yes, he, this is a prom promise of power. You may discard this card to reroll any number of dice when resolving a test. Pretty cool. But you can also not use it and be patient and in the reckoning if you roll a 6 you get rewarded, not going to see what it does. You can become wanted, then you cannot perform acquire assets actions. You have you can be elusive, it's con condition. During the encounter phase you may test observation. If you pass you may choose an encounter as, is there, as if there are no monsters on your space. It's a talent, that's, a, it's, that's new I think. Headstrong, another talent, Skullduggery, a condition, test, observation, plus two. If you pass, you may gain one item or trinket asset from the reserve. All right, awesome stuff. And we have more depths and dark packs and curses. Oh, you got to hate those curses. Oh man, curses, they are so deadly. All right, we have more stuff, of course. Let's take one of these packs of cards and open it. We have more, oh look how many, more of these uh, uh, cards, oh my god, I forget the name. You get plenty more things that can happen to you, never good news, alright. We have more, three more, four more prelude cards, so again, these are things that you draw 
at the beginning of the game and which, whichever you draw gives you a little bit of story arc and some different random uh, different setup things uh, so you have these four now silver twilight stockpile weakness to strength the king in yellow and sins of the past of course with a new ancient one there will be new ancient one cards here uh, things that you can encounter oh my god very very nice pile of cards for that and let's finish by doing this stack so you have more and more stuff so you have the cards to do the uh, to well to find the clues you have more gates uh, well encounters when you ent uh, ex enter a gate you have of course the mysteries that you have to solve uh, you need to solve two to defeat the new ancient one so more mysteries of course more expedition stuff and more random encounters for each of the colors of encounter spaces with the cities or the generic city wilderness and sea spaces so again let's zoom out a little bit again pretty pretty much of stuff here as you can see i put everything on the table at random sorry about that but as you can see this game comes with a bunch of new stuff again uh, this expansion and new things and that's the only thing i really want in this game actually there are two big box expansions as you know the mountains of madness the under the pyramids expansion and i do do like them they also come with new stuff with more stuff but they bring the new boards as well and actually i don't mind the new boards but they take more space more things to look at and i like just more stuff more story different things to encounter that's what i want in my expansions of eldritch horror and that's what we get this time with signs of carcosa now i might do a playthrough of this in the future uh, it might take a while before that will be there but i'm really really considering to do one of them again so thanks anyway for watching this unboxing this is what you get in the box and if you are an eldritch horror fan well i you probably should not have watched this because you probably already bought this expansion so yeah Thanks anyway for watching, I hope to see you all in the future for more stuff on the channel. Feel free to comment below, are you an Eldritch Horror fan? Did you already play this expansion? Let me know. And feel free to give this a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe if you're not already in this great small community that is called the Vitruvian Gamer. And uh, thanks again. I'll see you all in the future. Bye bye.